hallelujah I um, I couldn't leave it so uh, I went to get the other box connected up albeit a little bit temporarily just to see make sure that works just fine and diddly dandy all right more plumbing jobs to do I uh, just discovered a problem looks like the buffaloes have trampled on this um, pipe so I'm gonna have to fix that when I was doing the water pump I got stung by something on the top of my knuckle there you can't see anything actually from it but it's very painful now and it's swollen and you can see it's swollen because I can't close my middle finger in the same way as I can close this one so I'm not sure what it was that stung me but it's still a bit painful and it's still rather swollen around here but it's stung me on the top there anyway hopefully nothing too serious Joe reckons it was a, a, a fire ant but I don't know it seems to be a bit strange there's an awful lot of ants here so could have been I suppose Okay, we've left the, uh, the jobs on the farm and uh, we've come to Big C to do a bit of shopping. Right, done in Big C. Didn't uh, film there. I've shown you so many times. I'm not going to show you either because we're at the fruit market. I was trying to get some uh, corn for the buffaloes, but I did get some tea, which is mm, very good. Very good indeed. I'm going to go to Cheese to Meet You after to try and get some butter. They had some, um, they had some butter that was uh, like cut from a big block of butter, uh, salted butter, but a very good price on it and it was very nice. So I thought I'd get some more of that if they've got it. And um, then I think we're going to go to Ban Hoi Market, I'm not sure. And then uh, times are getting on. We will be heading back to the farm. Right, here we go. Cheese to Meet You. Let's see what they got. There you go, got my butter, got some cheese, got some mayo, got some beans. Not a lot of western food I eat, but it's a good job if you want those sort of things. Good morning from a very windy Udon Tani this morning. Um, it was quite cold the wind earlier, but the wind is, uh, if as long as you're not in the shade it's not cold it's quite sunny and warm but um it's very windy so i've uh, had to take down my canopy there because it uh, danger of being ripped off the roof baby birds cheap and cheap 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 up there little nest. anyway today is um the 6th of january friday the 6th of january it is a holiday in Sweden. Uh, it's called Trettondagen, which is 13th day of Christmas. That is. Uh, Epiphany, uh, even know, known as the Orthodox Christmas, and the uh, Dia de los Spain. It's got a lot of names, but it's a holiday, so that's great. No work for me today. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to try and repair that trampled pipe that. Uh, I discovered yesterday once I got the pump working, so that's uh, on the agenda. Apart from that, I'm not really sure. Okay, first things first, <coughs> survey the damage. I've just pulled these two apart. It wasn't actually completely broken, but it was um, all smashed on the top where it's been trampled on. So uh, when I lifted it up, it's not. So uh, I'm probably going to cut about there and here and put a small piece in between. That would be the idea, I think. All right, just like that was easy enough. Um, so I will uh, just give it a couple of minutes to dry and then I'll open the pump. It'll take me a couple of minutes by the time I go back and uh, switch on the electric down there because it's switched off at the moon. And then we can see how it works.
Right, that's good. A lot more pressure there now, <clears throat> which means probably no more holes. Obviously, there are holes where it comes out at the end into the pool, but um, one of those I'm going to close off. The other one I didn't use yesterday. But this leak, I think, is the only one by the look of that pressure anyway. We'll have to see. I, I mean, you know, these things get damaged. This pipe is pretty pale. It's been out in the sun quite a bit. You can see the colour difference with the bit that I put in there. And they become brittle. And I think some of these were the thin pipe as well. So when that gets brittle, it's very easy to damage. This is the old, but it's only a half inch pipe. I'm going to close that because I did a new one there, which you can probably hear. And there she blows. Look at that now. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. I am liking that. Well, I'm well pleased with that. Um, I wasn't pleased that the pump needed replacing, but I'm pleased that that's working. And the, the bigger pump seems to be... Uh, yeah, seems to be good. So uh, that well, we only pump it into the uh, into the pool and uh, water coconuts because it's water's a bit not too salty, but um, it's good because um, all the water we pump up from wells we pump into the pool uh, and they get it gets diluted out and uh, there's so much water in the pool. Plus, when the rains come, it gets more diluted out, and then we use pool water for water and stuff, which is uh, obviously a lot more nutritious with all the chicken shit and fish shit and god knows what in there and the next thing i want to show you is we have finally got our first coconut coming um it's a bit small obviously it's um there but uh as you can see there's a i don't know what you call it but where the a flower probably where they uh, eventually will come you know a whole bunch of coconuts there but this tree um, is really good because it's down by the pool and it gets you know it gets uh, the water comes up ov over it for quite a while during the, the wet season the strange thing is Jab bought three of these we were talking about this yesterday she bought three of them and she planted one here one there one there and uh, the other two were absolutely rubbish and these were quite expensive but this one is uh, it's turning out good but the other ones in the in the garden are um, coming along nicely though so now we've got the salt water pump working we will be able to water them and hopefully they will catch up because uh, they don't get so much drowning during the uh, during the wet season still very windy uh, anyway, I'm going to take this down from the back of the pickup rice husks um, we went to fetch last night, also a bag of refuse that um, we missed the uh, refuse collection. We don't have a refuse collection here at the farm and I usually take it to my sister-in-law's and um, I took it Monday night thinking they were coming Tuesday because Monday was a holiday and the last holiday, which I think was like Constitution Day or something, um, they came the day after, the, uh, they came on the Tuesday because the Monday was the holiday. But this time they didn't, they came on the day that they should come which was the holiday, so uh, it was still there and uh, dogs had been at it a little bit, so I took another sack, picked it up, put it back in the sack and brought it back, so it's on the back of the pickup now, I'm either going to dump it somewhere when we're out and about, if there's a, a big refuse bin somewhere in the city council, or I'll just wait until Monday and take it with, an, or Sunday night rather, like I usually do, with the uh, the next one as well. We've got uh, a load more sacks of it there, so add them to the collection. Oh, we use quite a lot of it, I mean, we were always collecting it, but this, this I've shown you this time, but we must have collected it about five times in the last month, probably at least, ten sacks at a time. Okay, all done, swept out the back of the pickup. So now I'm going to go to the village, up to the village, and uh, up to the village, and uh, just to the 2D shop and buy a couple of uh, things that I forgot yesterday when we were out in Big C. This tree.
trees too long. This is the feeding frenzy of the fish. Oh, we've got too many even though we lost a load. A lot. A lot, yeah. A lot, a lot. We're off on a little outing. Um, Dan needs to go to the clinic for a um, um, carpal tunnel. Um, and then we're going to hopefully try and go to this uh, blacksmith uh, near Kampo Api. Have a look at her making the knives and possibly buy a knife, I don't know. And uh, maybe we might even get to see the monkeys in Kampo Api and uh, get some lunch. But um, we should see how the time goes. But uh, that's what we're up to anyway. So we're off. Right, we've made the first stop here at the clinic where Jar comes to have a arm looked at. And uh, once she's done here, we will be heading off to look for the uh, the smith for the knife village. Apparently, the whole village is it's like smithies where they make knives by hand, or some places make them by hand anyway. So we're going to have a look there once we've done here. Okay, we've moved on. And we are now at Muban Meat, which is the um, the knife maker's village. อันนี้ผัดได้แล้วบ่เนี่ยยังตั้งคือลูกก็ซื้อครับอันนี้อันนาจะมิ่นมาตัวนี้อยู่ประมาณ 8 8 คนสั่งคนสั่งหกมิ่นหกมิ่นอันนี้ก็รอดเฮ้ยก็เจียละไหนออกไม่กินเลี้ยงอยู่ knife-making village, but uh, everyone was, uh, you know, oh, you can organise, you can organise, but there was nobody actually working at it on anything really, but we did speak to those people and had a little quick look, but uh, anyway, we've come into the town now, Kampawapi, and we're going to eat food here at this here restaurant, which I found on Google Maps, which was supposed to be good. Now we're going to sit in a little, yeah, we sit. It's a uh, busy place actually, there was um, quite a lot of people leaving now, so they look like they've been full up because there's a lot of stuff still on the table, but anyway, we found a place and uh, we're going to eat. Okay, we've ordered our food, um, I'll show you when it comes, what we've got. Um, after we've eaten, we're going to go see the monkeys. This uh, town uh, is famous for its monkeys, so we're going to go and have a look at the monkeys. Picking things here. Right, we've had a few things. We've got a couple more dishes ordered, but this is uh, arm uh, beef, arm nut, just uh, tom com bit of soup. This is a sauce for um, can't remember what we order now. Grilled pork chicken and uh, Charles ordered their beef for uh, Namtok, I think, as well. Mm. Right, pork cheek, Namtok, nah. Yeah. Oh, I'm absolutely stuffed. Very good indeed. In fact, so good, we've ordered some uh, to take home, but to take to Joe's brother. So, uh, yeah, it was really good, really good indeed. As I say, I found it on uh, Google Maps. Um, if you look on Google Maps and you see restaurants, you look, you can look at the photos, look at the reviews and whatever, and then you can usually get a pretty good idea of um, how a place is and the food. So, uh, yeah, good, a good find. 
Right, got our takeaways as well. Now we're off to see the monkeys. Hi, right, here we are. Jao went and bought. What? 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 Jao went and bought bananas for the monkeys. So, uh, yeah, all exciting stuff. Oi, baby monkey, monkey, monkey. Boy, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna yabla yabla. Tack, tack. Oi. Oi, what the hell? Monkey fights. <laughs> this guy just said, "Be careful with the the males. They will bite. They bite. They bite." Well, out, well, out. For me, young, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back from the uh, the monkeys and our trip yesterday. Um, it's now the next day. I um, I'm going to end the video here now because I think it's uh, far too much already. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.